everybody, it's Zach again at NewTutorial.com. Wanted to come and make a video tonight about Patrick Green. Um, this whole video is inspired by Mark and Tony from On the Box, LivingWaters.com. And I wanted to respond to their video that they did about Patrick Green. Um, but first, let's talk about Patrick Green. For those of you who don't know, Patrick Green is a devout atheist or was a devout atheist who basically gave a lot of ministries around the country a hard time, especially in his hometown community. Anytime a, a church would put up a nativity scene in a public place, he would bring his lawyers or bring a legal battle against them, just give them trouble, legally trouble, uh, to take it down and just cause headaches for a lot of people in the ministries, in, in different ministries, in, including Living Waters, I believe, uh, that was mentioned. So here's the deal. This guy, he's been giving these Christians a whole hard time, big hard time throughout the years. And they realized that he, at this, ta at this time, at this moment in history, was having uh, his own financial troubles, his own even health problems, I think. And so a church learned, found out about it and said, you know what, we need to go help this guy. The good thing to do is to be a loving neighbor and to love our neighbor and to go help uh, Mr. Patrick Green. And they raised thousands of dollars for him. And this made the news stories around the last week. And, I mean, I heard about it during the last week on this social network or this Christian radio program or whatever. And uh, on the box, their, their weekly YouTube or their daily YouTube uh, show, uh, Mark and Tony made a video about this. And uh, it antagonizes me to no end. Because now Patrick Green, having been offered this loving friendship a uh, loving kindness, this loving act from this Christian church, Christian church, uh, has now decided he wants to become a Christian. A uh, Christian. And so <laughs> he's like, now he's an atheist. He's been an atheist all, all his life. And so he is, uh, now he, that's everybody saying, oh, it's great. He's now becoming a Christian. Wow, isn't that, isn't that so wonderful? Well, let's see here. Let's read on. Green plans to either join a nearby, this is from uh, the Christian Post, it tells the story of the, the problem where he was uh, having an issue and, and how they came to his aid and gave him the thousands of dollars and how he just began to like, wow, I should, I should check out this. I should reevaluate you know, my thoughts on Christianity. And he said, I want to become a Christian. And not only that, not only does he want to become a Christian now, but he wants to become a pastor. But see, in the show where Mark and Tony of livingwaters.com uh, on the box, they made this point. That, I mean, they, they said, hold on, let's not get excited yet. It says, Green plans to either join a nearby liberal congregation or may even start his own chapter of the Rainbow Baptist. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. It's kind of a colorful name of a church. But the Rainbow Baptist are a lesbian, gay, uh, LGBT, whatever that is, stands for. I forgot what it stands for. Basically, it's a homosexual church. It's a church that says homosexuals are welcome in our church. Because those parts of the Bible, well, we don't deal with those parts of the Bible anymore. They talk about homosexuality. But why? Why? Why did Mark and Tony, my question to you is, why in the world do you think people like Rainbow Baptist exist? Why do you think people like Rob Bell exist that say, hey, there's no hell? The reason is because of you. Yep, yeah, it's you. The reason these people exist is because of you. You, modern day, and I love you, livingwaters.com. I do. And I, in fact, I mean, look at this. I buy tracks from you. I give out your tracks. I give out your tracks. I have a million dollar bill right there. Woohoo! Million dollars. I give out your tracks. I've donated to your ministry. I've donated to your academy before. I love your ministry. But I'm telling you, the reason why you have people like Rob Bell, people, the reason you have Patrick Green and Rainbow Baptist is because of you. It's simple. It's so simple. It's painful, and you even gave, you even, you even basically uh, acknowledged it, you know, during your your last show. And I'll get to that in a second. Oh, you know, Rainbow Baptist. I don't know where where do I begin here. <laughs> I hope you're watching this. I really do, because I really want to. I want you to understand that I truly do love your ministry. I, I really do love your ministry. But one of the things I see on your tracks that I don't see on other tracks, and one of the reasons I use yours, is because the last line of your track says this. Please repent, turn from sin today, and trust alone in Jesus, and God will grant you the gift of everlasting life. Then read your Bible daily and obey it. Obey it. But see, you don't do that. 
Because Mar- uh, Tony, in this last show that you talked about, Patrick Green, you were talking about eating pork and your, your ham, Easter ham. You love your ham. You love your pork. God says don't eat pork. God says don't eat pork. And you can throw Mark 7, uh, verse 19. You can throw Acts 10. or You can throw all these different verses. You know, all you want. It, it, they're misinterpreted verses. You've misinterpreted the scriptures. God does not change. He does not change. He does not get. And and Tony, uh, Tony, uh, Mark, you, you you're just as bad as Tony. You said, oh, you used the term in this show, moral law. The anger that God had towards us for breaking His moral law. The anger that God had towards us for breaking His moral law. The anger that God had towards us for breaking His moral law. There's no such thing as moral law. Go to Blue Letter Bible, go to eSword, go to any software package you may have on your computer and do a search for moral law on your computer. It does not exist. Neither does ceremonial law. The phrase ceremonial law does not exist. It's a man-made theology. You want to know why it's man-made? It's because you have created people like Rob Bell and all who says, you know, the hell does ne- isn't going to exist and we're going to get a second chance and people like the Rainbow Baptist. You've created those people. You have. Because you've said the law has been done away with. And what are these people to think? Well, if, if the law is done away with, that means I, I'm not going to get judged because there's nothing to judge me by. How are you going to judge sin if you've gotten rid of the law? There is not a moral law. There's not a ceremonial law. There's one law. There is one law, and sin is the transgression of it. How hard is that to understand? Sin is is the transgression of the law, 1 John. Do you you not read your Bible? 1 John, it says sin is transgression, 2.6. Sin sin is transgression of the law. Simple. And there's one law. There's not a moral law. It's not divided up into categories. There's one law. And God says sin is the transgression of it. It's simple as that. And when you start telling people that the law has been done away with, they're going to take that to its logical conclusion, and that means, oh, well, I guess it's okay to be homosexual because that law is done away with. That's, that law is in Leviticus, just a few chapters away from where it says, Tony, don't eat pork. So you're picking and choosing what law to follow. Yeah, I'm sorry, Tony, Mark, Ray, I'm not picking. I'm just picking on you because you're the ones to pick on. I mean, because of your video on the box when you you basically did a whole show on this and you contradicted yourself, you know, o- over and over again in the show because you, I'm so that's why I'm picking on you. But I love you guys. I love your ministry. I support your ministry financially, and uh, I do um, uh, buy your tracks quite often. In fact, um, so I'm telling you, there's some more over here. Actually, I got all kinds of your tracks everywhere. But um, I'm telling you right now. You created people like this who have basically gotten rid of the, the entire law. People like Rob Bell who say, you know what, I don't, I'm not even going to be judged by, because the law is done away with. So that means I'm not going to be judged because what is he going to judge me by if the law is done away with? All I have to do is just be a good Christian and love my neighbor and then I'm good to go. No, no. You know, we're saved of the transgressions of law. Christ came to free us from the, the transgressions. The ordinances, the, the tickets against us. But that doesn't mean we go out and now run red lights because we have, we've been freed from the judge. The judge has set us free. When you get free from the courtroom of running your red light, you don't go out and run red lights. You know, eh, I paid my fine. I'm good to go. The fine's been paid. I'm now free to run red lights as much as I want. And that's not it. There's no such thing as moral law or ceremonial law. There's one law. And yeah, some of them we can't keep anymore because there's no temple, there's no priestly system. The sacrifices, Yeshua was the right sacrifice and he is now, you know, continuing those sacrifices up in the temple, uh, up in up in heaven. You know, he is our high priest at this moment. But, I mean, the Old Testament tells us in the new millennium there's going to be sacrifices again. I mean, you can't deny those scriptures. There, his Torah, his law is still valid and he's going to prove that one day. And my God doesn't change. Malachi says hey my you know malachi 3 6 doesn't my god does not change so yeah i think you created people like patrick green the rainbow baptist who believe you know homosexual so homosexuality isn't isn't uh, a sin because you know you've thrown out the law and they're just bringing it to the logical conclusion that anybody else would 
and that if hey if if you're saying the law is done away with, well then hey I guess homosexuality is okay. We're good to go. You know, so you have nobody to blame but yourself. What Christianity needs to do is get back to the Torah. You want to heal this land? You know this land's in trouble. You know this country's in trouble. You know this world's in trouble right now. We're getting ready to go through some serious economic problems. There's earthquakes and wars and rumors of wars and all kinds of stuff going on in this world today. The best thing we can do is to repent. And to repent means to say, I'm going to turn away from my sin and I'm going to turn back to God's ways. And his ways are contained within the Torah. His instructions. Not law. It translates into instructions. His instructions for how to live. Jesus said, I did not come to do away with the law. I came to fulfill it. Meaning he gave us an example to follow. It tells us, hey, in 1 John, again, it says, you know, if, if we, we are to walk as he walked. You know, well, how did he walk? He kept the Torah. We should be walking like he, like he did. And folks, that he didn't eat pork. He didn't eat ham sandwiches. Peter said, hey, listen, I have never eaten anything unclean in Acts chapter 10. This is 10 years after, after Jesus died. Did he not get the memo that everything now was clean? That he's still 10 years later, 12 years later, not not eating ham sandwiches? Verse 28 of Acts chapter 10 rounds that out. It was about people. It was never about food, about animals. It was about people being clean. That the gospel could go forth to all people. And they rejoiced, not because they could eat catfish. They were rejoicing because they could now take the gospel to all people. Randy, I mean, I mean Tony and uh, Mark, I wish you guys would uh, rethink that. I think you're wrong. I think you're scripturally wrong. Ray Comfort, I think you're wrong. I love your tracks because they all end in this. Then read your Bible daily and obey it. I hand these tracks out because I know the Holy Spirit can work with people. They'll read that, hopefully, and the Holy Spirit will work with them and not get involved with some Christian ministry who says, you know what, yeah, you want to read your Bible daily and obey it, but this part, you don't have to do that. That part, you don't have to do that. In fact, Let's take part in all these Christmas and, and Easter pagan holidays and forget the feast of the Lord that God said to keep forever throughout all generations. I don't think we're forever throughout all generations yet. Forever throughout all generations means all generations. So I like your tracks for that reason. I'm going to keep using them, and I believe the Holy Spirit can guide people how he needs to guide them. So anyway, there you go. Uh, I just wanted to address that to uh, Mark and Tony. Uh, thanks for your efforts. I really do appreciate your show and, and the things you guys do at Living Waters. But I think you're wrong on this, and I hope you'll see that, and uh, this will make a difference maybe. Who knows? All right, talk to you later. Everyone else, go home, read your Bible. Thanks. Thanks.